Hi everybody, it's Ann Patchett and Sparky Van Devender at Parnassus Books on what is going to prove to be the most exciting lay down diaries we have ever done. Be sure to stay all the way to the end today. There is going to be a puppy. Okay, um, my publisher, when I told them I wanted to publish Tom Lake the first Tuesday of August and they said, no, you can't do that. You've got to publish the first Tuesday of September. And I said, no, everybody publishes the first Tuesday of September. Well, guess what, HarperCollins? I was right. I owned the first Tuesday in August. And now, <laughs> the first Tuesday in September, there's a lot going on. This is what we have today. This is Eun Lee's unbelievable collection of short stories, 14 years in the making, Wednesday's Child. It's our first editions pick. If you read Book of Goose, if you've read all of her other books, as I have read all of them, it is extraordinarily beautiful. And another writer that I adore, and I am a completist, and I have read this book as well, The Fraud by Zadie Smith. Unbelievable. Dickens is a character. It's just so good. And I also want to give a quick shout out to the ongoing Sandy Boynton reissuing, redrawing, new and improved project we have today. Tickle Time, Woodland Dance, Perfect Piggies, and my favorite, Your Personal Penguin. If you don't have a copy of Your Personal Penguin, you really need to get this. People use this as their wedding vows. This is a very meaningful book. Okay, speaking of meaningful books, my friend Kate Bowler is here today. Kate <laughs> Bowler, hey, Hello. this is unbelievable. You know, you don't, you, you won't know this at home, but she smells so good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you it's wrote just for you. You wrote No Cure for Being Human. I did. I was very sad at the time, but you cheered up. I did. You put some perfume on, right? <laughs> and then you just recently have come out with the lives we actually have. What What is this book, Kate Bowler? What's oh, this about? Yeah, those are blessings for good times and bad. Therefore saying spiritually honest things even when you feel horrible. Right. Yeah. Um, we love it. We ordered a bunch of them, weirdly. Many of them were sold this weekend. There was like a run on Kate Bowler books. We were like, get out of here. You gotta stay close, get in the front. You've got, um, you've got, they bought them before you signed them all. Oh man. So anyway. I don't know what the lesson is. Hey, thank you for being here. Here's Lindsay. Hello. Um, we have boxes upon boxes of books. We're still unearthing things. So when I find out what the Reese pick is, I'll definitely tell you it's in a carton somewhere. But for now, I know that the Jenna pick is Amazing Grace Adams by Fran Littlewood. This one follows a woman in her mid forties who's had it. She's done. <laughs> And up next, we have Stephen King with Holly. This one builds off of a character from the Mr. Mercedes series, another mystery. Um, Itaf Rum is out with Evil Eye, which follows the life of a Palestinian-American woman. There is a standalone, William Kent Kruger, The River We Remember. This is historical fiction. It can be read by itself. Over in nonfiction, we have Melissa Etheridge, Talking to My Angels. We have a few signed copies, so if you want one, they will go away quickly. And if you were one of the people who bought like a million copies of this book from us last year, the Baseball 100, great news. We have a new Joe Kosnansky, Why We Love Baseball. We're gonna sell so many of these over the holidays. Everybody's gonna buy a copy for their dad or their dad adjacent person in their life. And up next, we have Elise talking to us about events. And some of the women in their life who happen to love baseball. Thank you. Dad adjacent. <laughs> women True. can be dads. No. <laughs> Okay, hi, every I mean, there is a party going on here, folks. I'm just saying. The first thing I want to talk about, which is not an event, which I, I tend to do these days. Anyway, I want to give a shout out to Dr. Anita, and that is Dr. Anita Phillips, who has written a book called The Garden Within. And she came to the store last week. I think Sarah and I worked with her to sign some book plates. And the book is called A Garden Within. It's the intersection between faith, culture, and neurobiology. She is a trauma therapist, and she came in here and wowed us, I can't tell you. I have started the book, I'm loving the book, it's really interesting and all about our emotions and trauma and how to get in touch with our feelings in a really interesting and original way. You can see her, she's had conversations with Oprah and 
I don't know how many other people, but you can find her and she's fascinating. And if you are one of the lucky first 20 people to pre-order the book, it comes out September 19th, then maybe you will get a signed book plate in your book. Thanks, Dr. Anita. Okay, tonight, speaking of fabulous things, we have Major Jackson. I love Major Jackson. He's in conversation with Anthony Reed, and this is Razzle Dazzle, New and Selected Poems, 2002 to 2022. We adore him. There might be a seat left for you, so go online and check that out. Then, on Wednesday, we have Alice Carrier, and she's in conversation with Amelia Edelman. And this is Everything, Nothing, Someone. I've talked about this book before because I think it's fascinating. She grew up in the village, in Greenwich Village in New York, with her parents, Bohemia 90s, and, and just, it's a memoir. And it's her life with really fascinating, interesting people and a very unique upbringing. So that is on Wednesday. Then Thursday, I'm in conversation with Serenity Gerdman, and we are talking about 2023 Southern Festival of Books, which in so many ways is gonna be incredible. They have the most amazing author lineup. It's in a new location. It's a little bit of a new format. So I hope to see you on Thursday to talk about Southern Festival of Books. Then on Saturday, we have, we have Bridget Hodder, we have Bridget Hodder, and she has written a book with Forzia Gilani Williams. And um, Rayanne just handed me this book, and I read it really quickly, and I love it, and I might just have to get it for myself. It's two families and these two young boys from different cultures who make a promise to each other. And it's all around creating a garden and creating relationships and just getting along. And who doesn't love that? So that's Saturday at 10.30. And now, I think that's it. I'm gonna turn it over to Rayanne, Jamie, and Heidi. Hi, everybody. I'm so glad to have my friend Jamie Sumner here with me today. Introducing new dog, Heidi. This Thanks for bringing Heidi. Heidi in, Jamie. I know. She's and very happy to be here. Also, thanks for writing amazing books for kids. Jamie's latest book is out today, and it's called Made For It. Now, Jamie, tell everyone what the book is about. So, Made For It is a middle grade novel, and it is about a, a family dealing with addiction. Um, it's actually the aftermath of addiction is what I would say, because there's a lot of books that read like a VH1 story where it's like the arc, they fall into the depths of despair, and then they enter rehab, and then end cut scene. And this book is really what happens after. Because I think if you've ever experienced anyone in recovery or you have been in recovery, you know that the real story starts after. And so this <laughs> opens with Franny, her mom, gets in a car accident. And of course, Franny's immediate reaction is, okay, is my mom going to relapse? And it's about Franny secretly, hence the title, sneaking around cleaning the houses that her mom can't clean. Because she's going to keep everything together in order to keep her mom safe. And it's really a story of Franny learning to be a kid again and to trust people and to open up. And I hope it breaks that stigma of addiction and especially in the classroom so kids can feel comfortable talking about their thoughts about it. There's that idea with Alcoholic and Narcotics Anonymous. It's anonymous and it's secret, which means we can't share our struggles. And I think, I hope this book will do that. And it's fun. It's set it's in above a, a laundry one. mat. And there's a lot of like, Kids may actually learn how to clean. There's some tips in there if you ever, <laughs> the teachers want to sneak that in. They learn how to clean a mirror from top to bottom. Well, I so. want to say that I love this book and I love all of your books because you write about regular kids yeah. with regular problems. But the fun thing about this is that Franny keeps cleaning the mom's houses, but she blackmails a bully in her class to help her. Yeah. I mean, if you're going to clean, you that? might as well recruit help, right? So, Jamie has signed copies for us. You can order one through Parnassus Books and all of her other great books, too. And we have another Nashville friend, Caroline Brooks Dubois, who has a paperback out today, the paperback edition of Ode to a Nobody. And Mascot is out today by 
It's Charles, Sorrell, Charles Waters and Tracy Sorrell. This is about an eighth grade class who gets an assignment to debate their Native American mascot. It's told in verse, and I got to interview them for Musing. So if you're not subscribed to Musing, please go online and do that so you can read this interview and so many great others. Kate Albus has a new book out today, Nothing Else But Miracles. This is about three kids in World War II whose dad has gone off to fight and they're left alone in the neighborhood. It's a fascinating book. And Melissa De La Cruz has a new middle grade, The Super Secret Octagon Valley Society. This is for anybody who loves this uh, Benedict Society. It's about kids who are called to an island, but they don't know why. So thanks for showing up today, Jamie and Heidi. <laughs> thanks for listening.